Hi, welcome back. In the last video, I wrote a little more music into the snare part of the piece, and as you can see, I went ahead and filled in a little more on my own. We also introduced the idea of using the articulation tool and the power behind meta tools in Finale, and the ability to add articulations on the fly using the articulation tool. In this video, I'm going to write some bass drum music. I'm going to show you a few more ways to add articulations on the fly when you're actually writing without actually having to choose the articulation tool. All right, so first let's get started by choosing the simple entry tool. We're already ready to go on the bass drum part. Let's see, so I want to add some music here that more or less reinforces that kick drum pattern uh, while also adding a little bit of uh, kind of bottom to the snare drum part. And the kick drum part on that drum set part was one and then the and of two. So I'll go ahead and press my unison key on the MIDI keyboard. Choose eighth notes, hit zero on the numpad for a rest. And then another note there. And I actually, I want those notes to be accented, both one and the upbeat of two. So rather than going and choosing my articulation tool, if I hit the star key or the asterisk key on the numpad, that brings up this dialog box that asks me to either type a meta tool key or essentially select an articulation. For this first one, I'll just hit select. And then choose an accent. And note again here that the meta tool for accent is A for the step after this one. So you can see there, it went ahead and added the accent there without us even having to go use the articulation tool. So that's pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and do this using the meta tool. So I'm going to move the cursor back here to beat one and hit the star key. And this time I'm just going to press A. And you'll see an accent pops up right away. So that's pretty cool. All right, I'm going to cursor back over here, move the caret back over here to beat three. Let's see, let's put a rim click here on beat three. And then I think I might actually add diddles on the end of three and beat four of the snare part. Let's go ahead and switch to 16th notes here and add a little bit of stuff that will reinforce that. Switch to eighth notes, beat, uh, let's see. And right now, rather than going back and reselecting uh, the music, I'm going to go ahead and hit my star key and hit A to pull up another accent there. All right, I'll hit Escape to get out of here. If I hold down Alt and then click here on the snare part, I can actually go through the same process here. Star 6 is for the diddle, star 6. So there you go. Pretty quickly, rather than having to navigate between simple entry and uh, the articulation tool, I was able to do it all on the fly without even switching tools. So that's it for this time. In the next video, we'll be working with the tenorline instrument, and we'll introduce the expression tool, which we can use to change to puffies. So we'll see you next time.